I, I studied adolescence and um, didn't necessarily start off thinking that, that I was thinking more about children and health and I was interested in nutrition and uh, felt that there was something that was necessary to do with regards to research in that area. Still not sure what it is that made me think about research, maybe it's just something that's embedded in you forever and a day. But um, So developed a meeting with Kerry Mummery and developed an idea to look at adolescence and the health in schools and I guess coming from an industry background I've always thought that there's a need to think about matching needs with wants a little bit um, so I looked at tailoring a program to the needs of schools and that required assessing schools to find out what our baseline was really and then working from there to work out what they could do what their capacity to do things and make interventions rather than just having a uh, one-size-fits-all sort of concept about, about changing our environments with regards to nutrition and physical activity. I got a seed grant last year um, through the university to study household food behaviours and um, the health of two to five year olds. Um, and that came about purely because one of the things out of our, my study was that uh, the key as one of the key aspects is the family environment and their impact on a child's behaviour. So sort of changing tack and moving from adolescence to young kids because there's still not a lot done with regards to that. I decided to look at analysing their household food purchasing behaviours um, and then the health of their the actual health and well-being of their two to five year old children and that's just going through ethics at the moment so it'll be a study which takes up 2011. Because it's a small campus I certainly within a, my area which was in human uh, health and human performance originally um, we had four or five people all doing their PhDs at once which was just fantastic. Um, makes a huge difference to be able to discuss it, just all these little things that come up with the person sitting behind you or something and that makes a big difference to have um, those people around you and they're all at different levels so you know sometimes you're the underling and then you move through and there's other people who are below you and you've got expertise at a student level which I think is really valuable because I think once you, your supervisor can only do so much and they don't went through memory or just they didn't have the same experiences. They aren't able to provide you with all the answers, I guess, and they're not as accessible as your co you know, your co-students and things. So that was a really positive thing to have the people who you share office with and things like that.